Welcome to Bio Reboot 2.0. First things first, let's create a standout bio for your small business. So your profile picture should be eye-catching and recognizable. I think it should be a photo of you, a good bright clear photo of you with a solid background color, preferably one of your branding colors, or a great close-up picture of your logo. Since your bio is the first thing that somebody sees when they land on your page, you want to make it really clear exactly who you are and what you are providing. They should see exactly what they're going to experience when following along with your page and you want to make it an easy yes for them to click follow. They should see exactly what they're going to experience when following along with your page and you want to make it an easy yes for your ideal customer to click follow. We'll talk about your ideal customer a little bit later in the course. Here's a simple formula you can play around with to create a statement sentence for your bio. I think your statement sentence in your bio should be one sentence or two at most. And it's simply helping blank find blank. For me, that's helping makers find their ideal audience on Instagram, or it could be helping you find the perfect boho home decor for your space. Use the worksheet below to fill in the blanks and get creative. In your title, which is the bold part of the font in your bio, if your Instagram handle is already the name of your business, like mine is Offhand Fibers, at Offhand Fibers, you don't need to repeat the name of your business in your title. I recommend having your first name so that people know how to address you when they you know, need to direct message you or just so that they know your first name to be able to leave you a comment or whatever it is. Um, make sure that your title has your first name in it and what you call yourself. So this could be macrame artist, fiber artist, jewelry maker, whatever you refer to yourself as. Um, it's good to have that keyword right in your title because keywords are searchable on Instagram. So if somebody is searching for macrame on Instagram, it's going to be right in your title and you have a chance of showing up with them. Mine is... Um, Right now, mine is IG coach for makers, which is what I am. So if somebody's looking for an Instagram coach for handmade products, my page is probably gonna pop up for them because it's right there in my title. Aside from letting your audience know who you are and what you provide, there should be a clickable link in your bio as well. Don't just paste out your link to your website in like where you write your bio out that is not able to be clicked on. You wanna make sure it's really, really easy for your customers to get to where they wanna go. So do not just write out the link in the bio. Make sure that you use the actual website link in your bio to make your website clickable. And now speaking of clickable links, if you have more than one link that you want to send your audience to. So say you have your link to your Etsy website and you also have a link to where they can sign up for your email list. Um, and you want to make it easy, easily accessible for to get to both of those, whatever they are. Um, I recommend using Linktree. This is what I use for my multiple links, and it makes it makes it so that all of the links that you want to use can be dropped under one link that you can put in your bio. So when they click on the Linktree link, it's gonna send them to a page where it's got, you know, you can say shop macrame, sign up to my email list, and it's really simple and clean and just looks nice and inviting. So Linktree is free, there's a paid version, but I use the free version, it works just fine, and I will link that below for you guys if you wanna check it out. When crafting your bio statement, your bio sentence about you, you want to fill this up with keywords. And I'm going to do a whole section about keywords later on, but essentially keywords are just searchable words so that people can find what they're looking for on Instagram. So great keywords are there's words having to do with your small business and what you sell. So macrame, boho home decor, vintage home decor, um, sterling silver jewelry, polymer clear earrings, whatever it is, have those words in your bio because keywords are searchable. 
be strategic about what keywords you're adding into your bio. So a great sentence full of keywords that I could use would be macrame artist creating one of a kind boho home decor to complete your dream space. Just get creative and think about what keywords would work best for you. Now being super specific in your bio, you think maybe this is going to turn some people away because you know it's really specific that I'm a macrame artist who makes boho home decor, not just any home decor, and it's actually the opposite. Will being specific turn certain people away? Yes, but this is a good thing. This is how your ideal customer knows that they're in the right place, which is a smaller but warmer group of people. Warmer just meaning they're higher, they have a high, blah, blah, blah my brain, oh my gosh, <laughs> they have a higher chance of buying your products because they know that they are already interested in the type of art that you make. You can use the worksheet below to craft and revamp your bio. Also, you can click the link below to hop into our Facebook group if you wanna bounce ideas off of your fellow makers about what a great bio statement could be.